so my laboratory is focused in large part on drug resistance. So this is when patients that are being treated with cancer therapies fail in the clinical setting. And what my research does is try to, as best we can, mimic that drug resistance setting and try to develop drugs that can overcome that resistance and provide a new path forward for uh, um, patients. Specifically, we're looking at a bit of a counterintuitive uh, treatment strategy. What we're looking at are drugs that can target the tumor support systems rather than the tumor itself. This can include blood vessels that provide nutrients and oxygen to the tumors and also allow them to spread. We have drugs that target this process called angiogenesis. And we also have drugs that target the immune system, which is a way tumors can evade or basically hide from uh, the body's natural defenses. So we've been combining these two different drugs in the setting of basic research with tr the idea of trying to overcome the drug resistance that's being seen in patients. So funding from the ACS has been critical for laboratories like mine. One of the things that may not necessarily be well known for most people is, is that cancer researchers spend a lot of time asking or trying to get money to do the research. And it's hard because we need critical funding to keep the best and brightest in the field and to be working. What ACS funding has done for research laboratories like mine has allowed us to actually do cancer research. And it's provided incredible boost in seed money to allow us to push forward and keep the good people in cancer research. And this has changed everything for us in terms of what we've been able to accomplish. And we have some extremely exciting things now that are directly the result of funding from the American Cancer Society.